that noise you hear, triple V10, 400 horsepower, Verados by Mercury, and I'm on this beautiful 39 Contender ST. There's George, you met him before with that other boat right in front of us, the, the Bertram 31. And uh, George just installed these motors. They did have Yamaha F350s on them. Uh, blew one out and decided to just repower the whole dang thing. And he went with the, the biggest and lightest available motor. So he had to re-rig from Yamaha to Mercury. And boy, I, I tell you what, 400 horsepower, his old Yamaha, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Yamaha F350s, the, the venerable workhorse amongst big outboards for years and years and years, VA power. That was a 5.3 liter block, 804 pounds each. This is a 5.7 block, so presumably more torque, right? Uh, huge displacement, 709 pounds each. The lightest, uh, well, I shouldn't say the lightest. I think the, the inline Mercury V6, uh, I6s, the inline 6s, the 350 and the 400, they're in the high 6s, 680 to 700. But certainly from a torque perspective, you're not going to beat the naturally aspirated V8s. And uh, George and I are gonna take her out and see what she can do. George, tell us a little bit when you had the F350s, uh, top speed, all that good stuff. So the F350s were a great motor. I was very happy with them. Uh, both did, considering it's got a spotting tower on top. Yep. Uh, considering it has uh, trolling motor batteries. Uh, myself on the boat, uh, I could even say with 400 gallons of fuel, she would hit 70 miles an hour. Okay. We'd get her up to 70. Okay. So we're, we're going to see, presumably, uh, 150 more horsepower. We should be able to do a little better. And a lot less weight. And a lot less weight, 300 pounds less than the transom. And so, if you don't think that's a lot, Picture putting a really fat guy just sitting in the back of the transom while you're driving the boat, and you tell me if that's not a lot of weight. It is. Well, the other thing was the, um, you know, fully loaded with people, you know, the boat still did 66, 67 miles an hour. Right. And what do we have in here now? About 400 gallons, you said? Uh, no, we're actually full. We're at 492 gallons 492 right now. 492 gallons. So we got a full boat. It's just George and I. Like I said, it's a beautiful 39 contender ST. ST standing for stepped hull. Uh, beautiful fishing layout here. Seat here if you want to sit up here. There's a, a coffin box up here. There is, there's the plate for the trolling motor. Trolling motor is not installed right now. This boat is completely rigged out. You see the FLIR night vision camera, spotlight, Ferano, Furuno, um, open array radar. I, I mean, just a purpose-built fishing boat. Uh, 39 feet long. I think the beam is 1010. Holds 500 gallons of fuel. 24 and a half degree dead rise. And now the coup de gras, the triple Merc 400 V10s. So we're gonna take it out, see what she can do, maybe get some performance numbers, and we'll check back in when we're on our way out. All right, and here's George's other boat. I'll include a link in the description to the video I did of this, the classic Bertram 31, just a beautiful boat. Now we're putting out of uh, George's Harbor here. And we have, the, we have the exhaust in quiet mode. That's a really cool feature about these V10 Verados. You can have quiet mode, so if you wanna talk, if you don't wanna hear the noise, but at the flick of a switch, it'll sound like a muscle car. George, you wanna? There we go. I mean, they, they sound so friggin' badass. Excuse my French there. Um, I think I would run it in this mode all day, but yeah, if you want to have the more quiet mode, absolutely, that's what it defaults to, and you can you can uh, you know click a button at the display, and the exhaust comes out above the waterline. When it's in quiet mode, the exhaust exits the engines under the waterline. That's why they sound louder in the sport mode like this. All right, we're idling out of the harbor right now. Going five miles an hour, burning 3.22. We're gonna have to do the math here. Uh, slightly over a mile a gallon. Uh, and George, what about props on this bad boy? So Contender uh, recommended, and a bunch of guys down in Florida recommended running the 27s. We're gonna be running the 29s today. Uh, 27s so 20, 29 29 what? 29 pitch. 29 pitch, but what kind of props? The, the Mercury. The Mercury. Props. Three the blade? Four, four blade. Four blade. Four blade. Not the Rev 4s or the Rev 4X maybe? Uh, actually, I'm not sure what these come with. I okay. think there's only one prop that okay. they come with. Okay. To be honest, they're too new. Okay. 
So we're still waiting actually for 127. So ultimately we're either gonna run 29s for offshore uh, for you know 150 mile runs or uh, 29 in the middle and 27s on the side or 27s across the board. We're still waiting to see what the best Averages. And to be clear, you just got the boat back after the Literally. install by Albertsons, uh, local Merck dealer here on the North Fork of Long Island. So, not quite dialed in yet, but no, no, no. but we're hoping because they did test it and they got some impressive numbers. Yes. Uh, you have not had a chance really because uh, yesterday was blowing 30 miles an hour. I did go out yesterday. But you couldn't really run it. No, I, I, I ran a 50, 55 miles an hour. Okay. I mean, okay. she had more obviously, but... Okay. Uh, not so today should be interesting. Yes. See what we can do with her. Yes. All right. We're breaking uh, the inlet, if you will. It's not really an inlet. It's just a, a short entrance into Gull Pond here. There's Shelter Island in front of us. We're going to open it up in a second and just plane off. And let's let's see how she planes off with these uh, these big mercs in the back. there just just jumped on plane we're already at 37 38 39 42 jesus okay. that speed increasing over there well, we are burning a lot of fuel 101 gallons an hour going 61 already wow 66 67 how she just got on plane. No bow lift, boom, you could feel that torque when you took off. So here's the big thing, John. You're running 4,000 RPM at 45 miles an hour, as where the Yamahas used to be 4,000 RPM at about 40 miles an hour. Right, so you're getting you five, mi five, five miles an hour, five miles an hour and you're through. getting better than one mile per gallon at that speed, 42. 42 and a half gallons an hour it's burning at that speed. Really impressive. For a fully fueled boat. For a foot for 500 gallons, guys, which is about 3,000 plus pounds of weight added to the added to the boat when you're talking about 500 gallons at slightly over six pounds a gallon. I mean this boat is fast. And again, the torque on these things is unbelievable. And by the way, just to brag about my home waters, look how beautiful it is in here, Platonic Bay, Shelter Island right there. We're gonna go over some wakes here. Don't really feel them on this 39. Nope, and I, I literally just got knocked backwards. George dropped the hammer again. And really quick. You, 60 miles an hour from 45. It's like instantaneous. Boy. And we're back over 70 miles an hour. 103 gallons an hour. So again, probably not something you want to run long term. You're only going to get about five hours of run time with that, that kind of speed. And we're still breaking them in. So, short bursts only, but 
Yeah, very, very impressive. And remember, George is still breaking these motors in. We're at about 10 hours here on the motors. Uh, he did the, the shop, Albertson's Marine. Can't say enough good things about them. Uh, ran the boat for a bit. George ran it yesterday in some really sloppy seas. He's limited with the wide open throttle to about a minute. So, yeah, we could have been still climbing to hit the low 70s. In fact, Albertson, we'll post a picture here, did get 73.6 when they ran it. Uh, we did not quite get there, but like George said, with some work on the props and just getting the boat dialed in, getting broken in better, you know, 73 plus should be a reality. Get minimal bow lift, just jumps on plane. We're already at 31 miles an hour. There's 40. There's 50. There's 60. And I, George, I think the impressive thing is how fast you hit those speeds. It, it's like unbelievable, buddy. It's it's like you're at 50 before you can blink an eye, with like hardly any 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 raising of the bow. It's it just plain so flat. You would have been technically more in the low 60s at this point with a fully fueled. With the F-350s, yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're gaining about 10 miles an hour here. And close to 8 to 10 miles an hour. When Albertson, on a much calmer day, tested the boat after they put him on, they hit 73.3, I think you told me. Yeah, 73.3. Yeah. And this is, again, with the 29 pitch. Right. I think the boat could get a lot more. So we're, we're estimating that, you know, with half fuel, this boat is a 75 to 77 mile an hour boat. Which is insane. Yeah. Which is insane. And the really, the, the cool thing is, you don't even feel it back here. Like, it's a big boat. It's a 39 foot boat. And a, a lot of boats start getting squirrely at 40, 50. Th this one feels secure even at those insane speeds. I'm gonna tell you something. Out of all the 39s in, on the market, and I don't care what anybody says, you know, I have a thousand hours on this boat, and this hull actually, and the 39 contenders, ST is definitely the top three tier boats. If you know anything about boats and you're not into the flashy, cashy stuff and you want the ultimate ride, the 39 is definitely top three tier. I don't care what anybody says. Take this boat out in 45 knots and call me. Yeah. And see what you can do. Well, we've never gone fishing on it, so I'll take your word for that. Uh, but super impressive, guys. Super impressive. George, anything you want to add before we do one last closing run back home? The thrust on these motors, John, yeah. it, it, it's a game changer. <clears throat> you know, it's almost like putting a supercharger in your car. It just thrusts you straight back. Guys that have been on this boat. Well, will fly I, I, back. George, I can tell you, when we were running this way and we were cruising at 4,000 RPM going 45, and you dropped the hammer, yeah. I went back in the seat. And oh, we hit way. 60 in like five seconds. That, that's, that's the difference. So if you picture, you know, not having so much fuel or full gear on the boat, it's going to feel like a diesel right. boat that's just slow and steady. And, and, you know, we hit 71 going this way. Guys, that's with 500 gallons, 492 gallons of fuel on this boat. If we were running 100 gallons, 150, like when they do oh, yeah. the performance tests, all these boat manufacturers, they're never running it they're full running fuel. Tanks, they they are running tanks. it sometimes just the most minimal amount of gas needed to get out there because obviously right. it's going to improve your numbers. So that, that better than one mile per gallon, that one one probably it averaged out to at 40, yeah. 45 miles a gallon, 45 miles an hour. I'm sure if you were running half a tank, you would see improvements on that and certainly on the top end too. Well, the, the Yamahas, when you first got them in the beginning, they were running uh, one one again at a slower speed. So these right now are running one one at an additional three to four miles an hour. Yeah, or five in this case, because you told five. me 40 yeah. at uh, yeah. at 4,000 with the yeah. F-350s that these replaced. And 
And the, the bottom is painted on this too, right? It's, it it's wet slip. So it is. again, uh, we, we live in the Northeast. Boat lifts are not prevalent here. It's, it's a, it, certainly trailering a boat like this is, it's doable, but not something you want to do. George, George has that dock there, which is beautiful, uh, right behind the Bertram. And yeah, you gotta, you gotta paint the bottoms here. It's just a, a, a matter of uh, a fact of life here on the Northeast. George, I can't thank you enough, man. Very welcome. Uh, you wanted to give some shout outs to people who helped you with the build. Yes, so first of all, Contender Official, thank you, Will, for uh, picking up the phone there, because not all boat manufacturers pick up the phone. And uh, some guys on Instagram, you know who you are, that helped out as far as positioning the motors, and Albertson Marine, you know, for doing... Uh, yeah, I use Albertsons. So, they're, they're great guys. They're I mean, honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's all you could ask for with a boat dealer, that, or a boat a boat yard, that they're honest, because there's so many that will just do everything they can to take every penny no away from you. Here, yep. you know? no yep. All right, guys, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And George, we'll, we'll close the video with, with one last uh, takeoff here, and maybe I'll be in the back for it and we can actually hear these bad boys. Maybe put it in, put it in smart mode for this. It, it is. It is, okay, all right. We'll, we'll do our best. I'll sit in the mezzanine seat here and we'll, we'll close the video with, uh, watching these bad boys run at uh, 70 miles or 68 to 70 miles an hour. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> to hold on there.